the Petro is a scam. Here's why. And the, the, the Petro actually, it, it's a very simple read. All you have to do is read what the Petro is backed by. There's a small section, and I can show you the screenshot. But if you read what the Petro is backed by, it said something like a barrel of oil, whatever grams of gold, ounces of bauxite. I don't know what the, the, the name in English is. That's another mineral. And then, and then at the bottom, the catch-all, which was, or anything else the Venezuelan government deems worthy. And that, that's all you got to read. Like that last one, that's all you need to know. And so clearly you have a centralized currency supposedly built on trust because it's centralized, like it's completely not decentralized, launched by a group that has absolutely no credibility or legitimacy. And you're expected to send them your hard-earned money, get this piece of paper, and you know, they, they have decimated a country of 30 million people. And they tried really, really hard to, to sort of uh, force feed it into the Venezuelan economy. So uh, for a while they were paying salaries in Petros and bonuses in Petros and food stamps in Petros. And they tried to make the government supermarkets accept Petros. It was a complete failure because everybody that got their Petros, then even the Venezuelans didn't trust the Petro. Like you got it immediately, you went out of it. You're like, hell no, I'm not saving on this thing. It was ridiculed by the old Venezuelans. Why are you holding Petro? It was like a joke. And so it, it got so embarrassing that they had to sunset it.